Hey everyone, welcome to the Worldwide History of History. I'm James. Today we are looking at this clock. This is an Ingram Sentinel alarm clock from the 1940s or 50s. Now, I took the clock apart. Here's the back plate. And the reason why is so we could see inside of the clock. Um, it's got some corrosion, as you can see, this green stuff on the dial. Um, Right here, this dial right here on the main dial is meant to show what time the alarm has been set to. So it's really cool, and um, it's it's replaced the 12, so there's no 12 on this clock, because this replaced it. Now, I'm going to take apart the clock, you know, pause the video, but another thing to mention is that this is an electric clock. When I first... Uh, saw it at the flea market I got it from. Um, it was uh, plugged into the wall and was actually still running. And um, I'm not going to do that because I don't know if it's safe. It's definitely not safe, but I don't know if it would still run. I don't want to test that. I don't want to um, create any uh, fire hazards. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to take the clock apart and we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back, and this, sorry about the noise, my sister's coming downstairs. Um, this is the clock style, also called the face. When we turn it around, as you can see, this is the mechanism. Now, this black thing is the motor, and that um, basically makes the clock run. It turns a series of gears, which turn the hands. Now, as you can see, these little posts right here for the nuts that um, basically screw onto here um, to hold the clock into place in the case. And here's the cord, and here's the connection from the cord to the clock. Now, let's take a look at this case. It's got a kind of streamlined 1940s, 50s case, and um, it's made of metal with what I believe to be lead paint. Um, lead paint was a common type of paint used in thing, everything from toys to even entire rooms. This is not lead paint, though. I'm just, uh, I just showed you the walls in my room, in the room I am, I'm in right now, because I just had to explain it, so it was just used for explanation purposes. No, my house does not have lead paint. It was built in the 80s, when lead paint was really not allowed to be used in home construction. But anyway, um, this clock has lead paint, unlike the room I'm in. And as you can see in the inside of the clock, the case is really hollow. Um, there's no kind of... The only space there is in this clock is for the clock's motor, the clock's movement, which would go through this hole right here and would be sitting right in this area. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to put the clock back together, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's the clock after finally being assembled, reassembled. Um, sorry that it took a while, um, I'm going to be honest, it took a while for you guys, it only took a second, but for me it took forever. I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to finish this video. Um, I wish I could have showed you how to put the clock back together, even though it's pretty frustrating. Um, but, yeah, basically, I can't because I don't have a tripod, and I only have two hands. So I can only, uh, I can't work with one hand, I have to have two hands. So if I had a tripod, maybe I would be able to do that, but I don't. Um, so here's what the clock looks like, reassembled. As you can see, this is what the back looks like, all the uh, pieces um, all together. This is the knob that you turn to set the alarm, as you can see. And um, it's a really neat clock from the 1940s. I really love it. Um, yeah, if you want to see any photographs of it, I will leave a link to my website, and um, you can see... A bunch of different pieces that I have or haven't featured in videos. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video.
Bye.